Welcome to another episode of Study Abroad, another video on Study Abroad. Uh, well, uh, first of all, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays um, uh, to, you know, depending upon your faith. So anyway, so I want to give you more information about your trip journal as well as the trip reflection paper. Um, and also I want to give you some ninja skills about uh, how to control your feelings in any kind of situation. You know, people sometimes get nervous in difficult situations. How do you control that? Uh, what about public speaking, things like that. So stick around and I'll give you more details about that as well. Now, uh, before I do that, let me tell you about these two assignments that are coming up. So let's just start off first with the trip journal, which is for 75 points. And it's a video five to seven minutes long. Okay, so create a video using Zoom or other software. Make sure your video kind of looks like my video right here, meaning you know you can see me as well as see whatever it is that you are showing, either it's PowerPoint, Word document, website, whatever it is, just you know, just the way you're seeing. Um, so that's what we want to do. And then once you are done with the video, um, you want to upload that video on YouTube. Don't upload it on Blackboard. It's not going to work because the video is big part. Okay, um, it will crash multiple times. So that's why I did not actually just submit these instructions on Blackboard. I wanted to create a video. So this way you watch it and make sure that you get the assignment right. See, the reason I make videos is because it's, first of all, it's time consuming for me. But the reason I do it is because I wanted to do it for you. So as if we're sitting in a, in a classroom, so I want to do it for you. Uh, so take advantage of that, okay? Uh, so this video, the one that you're gonna create, uh, again, you get the deadline, which is on the 19th. This is uh, about a week after we come back and the reason for that is we, you know, I want to give you enough time. And at the same time, I, if I have to submit it. Otherwise, you guys are not going to get the grade. So 19th is the hard deadline. I cannot move it beyond that. So this assignment, you know, it's supposed to be a fun assignment, sort of. So, um, so you're supposed to visit three of the following in the U.S., Taiwan, and South Korea. So meaning you have to do it in all the three countries, okay? and find two similarity or differences between these, okay? You don't have to find two similarity and two differences, no. You find either two similarities or two differences or one similarity and one difference, you know, however way you wanna make it work. So uh, first there's like convenience store, you know, like a 7-Eleven, time-wise, Bucky's sort of thing. Uh, when you do that, make sure you pick very similar places. So don't compare Walmart with uh, 7-Eleven, right? That's really not a good thing. And also um, use pictures to make your point. Uh, so if you're making a point about certain things, so make sure you use pictures to kind of guide the reader as well. So, um, so you are going to visit, I mean, you're obviously going to be visiting an office building because we have office visits. And you know you most likely aren't going to be visiting this, uh, you know, because you're going to be eating out or you're going to be buying certain things, um, and plus any of these. So out of these five, you're supposed to pick only three, and then talk about two similarities or differences. Okay. So let me give you an example. Let's say you go to uh, TimeWise over here. I mean, kind of like 7-Eleven. So once you walk in, what do you see? I mean, you know, you may have lottery tickets on the side, then you probably have cigarettes in the back. Uh, and then you get hot dogs and, you know, other things that are rolling on the side. So that's the layout for uh, a sort of a time-wise, which is equivalent to 7-Eleven over here in the US. Now compare that with, something similar. Uh, by the way, so Taiwan, South Korea, they have 
quite a few 7-Eleven. So you could actually walk into a 7-Eleven over there and see how different it is or how similar it is, okay? Notice that maybe, you know, when you go into Taiwan, you know, you might see the food instead of hot dogs, it's like chicken on a stick or something like that. Something different is there. Or as soon as you enter the store, the store might smell of food or something uh, very different than the way it smells here. So whatever it is, you make, you know, you can even take pictures of something uh, that you find interesting. And uh, that will also help you with uh, the video so you can illustrate it much better. So you're not doing all five, you're doing only three. Visit only three of the four. Okay? But you want to make sure that you're doing it US, Taiwan, and South Korea. Okay. All right. So that is it about the trip journal. So you are creating a video that is five to seven minutes long. You upload that video on YouTube and submit the link to that on uh, Blackboard under Trip Journal. Okay, and this is what you are expected to do. All right, so let's move on to the second uh, assignment that is coming up, which is the trip reflection paper. So this trip reflection paper is is about your trip um four to five pages this is a paper um and you are going to be uploading it on uh, blackboard course content trip reflection paper by the way let me show you where you're going to be uploading it this is your trip journal this is your reflection paper notice this icon that means turn it in is going to verify um you know whatever you're doing is plagiarized or is your work Okay, uh, so in this day and age, it's actually not, it doesn't pay to plagiarize or cheat or lie or steal because there is record of everything. So uh, don't do that, you know, stay away from copying, pasting from your friends or from, you know, your buddies or something like that because Turnitin will catch just like that. And each and every semester, I don't know why, but there are a few students that are caught. And I'm like, you know, I told you that, why did you do it? But, um, well, they were probably wanted to get an F in the class. So I, I mean, the policy is very strict, don't do it, okay? So trip reflection paper and the trip journal. So let me go back to the reflection paper. Let me give you more detail about that, which is uh, right here. So, you're going to start off with what were your perceptions about Taiwan and South Korea before the visit. Um, some of you may say, oh, we never visited. I mean, some of you probably never even left Houston or Texas. Um, yeah, that is true. But what I'm asking for is perception. And you read about South Korea and Taiwan in this course. So you have some perceptions of, you know, what the country might be like. And once you go there, the country might be exactly what you thought it would be or, you know, totally off, whatever it is. So that's your first impression. That's your perception. And probably, you know, one or two paragraphs, not too much here, right here. Then the next is the company visits. Um, so briefly discuss the company that you're going to be visiting. Okay, just talk one paragraph. So let's say you visited Samsung. And you probably went to the Samsung factory that makes the latest Galaxy phones. Okay, so talk, you know, just say went to a factory, Samsung factory that makes Samsung Galaxy latest phones, and they probably say make more than half of the world's phone in that particular factory. So whatever it is, mention that. Uh, in pick at least one concept from the course that applies. So let's say, you know, you may, and concept doesn't mean main idea. Concept means, you know, something that is part of the main idea, but it may not be the main idea. So I'll give you an example. So mode of entry, you know, that's what we discussed. So you don't have to talk about the whole mode of entry, all different modes of entries. You could say Samsung, the way it functions, it, it has alliances or it has partnerships, so, and you elaborate on that, okay? That's how you're going to be um, talking about that. 
Then for the cultural visit, the same thing. Actually, I should uh, change it to briefly discuss each cultural visit. And again, one paragraph and pick at least one concept that applies to your cultural site and make sure to use different concepts. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention that. So make sure to use different concepts for different companies. Same thing over here, because we don't want to keep using the same concept over and over. So make sure you change the concept when you're talking about a uh, different company. Okay. In conclusion, you know, what did you learn from this trip? You know, how has this trip helped you expand your worldview? Or how can you apply this to, you know, in your life, okay, whatever you learn. All right, so a uh, quick recap, two assignments, uh, trip journals, 75 points. Um, you're making a video. This is what you're supposed to do. Only three out of five you're supposed to pick, and that's where you're going to be talking about, okay? And uh, deadline is midnight. And notice I have underlined and highlighted. Same thing when you're writing, don't try to write big essays. Try to just write in bullets and highlight and underline. Because you want to guide the reader. You want to guide the reader to, you know, where you want them to go rather than, you know, people wandering off. So keep, stay, keep people um, on track by using bullets, underlines, uh, highlights. Uh, in this day and age, people have very low attention span. Um, again, I'm not saying it's a bad thing or a good thing, whatever it is. But you want to write the reader to where you want them to go rather than somewhere else. Okay. Um, so, trip reflection paper, as we just talked about uh, company and cultural visits, and then the conclusion, you know, what did you learn and how's how has it expanded your worldview and um, how are you going to apply it? Okay. So um, go ahead and do these things again. The deadline is midnight on 19th. Oh, uh, by the way, the ninja skill, the way the ninja skill works, I mean, the way you can make yourself nervous or, <laughs> you know, get rid of the nervousness is all depends upon how you breathe. If you breathe from lower part, you know, like your belly, you're gonna be less nervous and slow down. That's gonna project confidence if you slow down. Well, so you're talking fast, fast, fast. Guess what? Who is talking fast, fast, fast all the time? Because they are scared that somebody might pull them out and it's not their turn or you know, their turn could be gone, you know. A book, a person with power can pause as many times like Barack Obama, master. But you don't want to overdo it. You know, you want to vary your tonality. The way you can make yourself more nervous is keep talking fast, 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 and you know, get scared, and that's how you're gonna make yourself nervous. So the reverse is also true. See, the reason I mentioned that you want to make yourself more nervous is because when you do that, guess what? You are in charge of your nervousness. Up until this point, it was driving your life. It's time to take back your life. All right. So again, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, uh, Happy Hanukkah. These are the dates. This is the place where you need to upload it. Right. Okay. All right. See you in Taiwan and South Korea. Bye.